Fractional distillation is a technique used to separate a mixture of volatile liquids on basis of their boiling points. For example, we take a mixture of methanol and water of 10 is to 90 ratio and then we just simply distill it. We will have a mixture of 50% methanol. To obtain pure methanol, we have to distill again and again until we get 100% methanol. So to simplify this, we can use a fractionating column instead of distilling again and again. So I will just briefly explain how a fractionating column works. Consider we have a mixture of 10% methanol in water. When we boil it, the composition of vapor will be 50% according to the diagram shown in the right. Then it travels through the column where it partially condenses and falls back. Thus a temperature gradient is established inside the column from bottom to top and the column allows for the vapor to interact with the refluxing liquid and thus an equilibrium is attained. Now as the vapor travels up, its composition of methanol will increase and finally if there are sufficient theoretical plates, we will achieve 100% methanol vapor at the top of the column. There are various types of fractionating columns. An efficient column is the one that can give better separation. This can be done by increasing the number of theoretical plates. This can be done either by increasing the length of the column or by increasing the surface area. Now these are three common types of fractionating columns. The one on the left is the Vigrex column which is least efficient among the three. The middle one is the Dufton column. It is designed in a way that the vapor has to travel through the spiral to reach the top, thus increasing the surface area of contact of vapor with refluxing liquid. It has very good efficiency. Now the third type is the packed columns which consist of a hollow glass tube which can be packed either with steel wool or glass beads. These columns have maximum efficiency and give best separation. So if one doesn't have fractionating column, one can pack his Liebig's condenser with steel wool like I did in my alcohol making video. And from the 500 ml 12% alcohol solution, we got only 70 ml of 61% ethanol. Then I purchased a Vigrex column and again made ethanol the same way but without yeast. So this time on distilling I got 72 ml of 86% ethanol solution. So I studied about fractionating columns and decided to make my own packed column. For that I took a steel tube 1.8 cm in diameter, teflon tape, a B24 joint of a broken RB flask and stainless steel scrubbers. So first with the help of a hacksaw I cut 45 cm of the tube. To pack the steel wool first, I stretch the scrubber like this and then cut it to open it. Now it can be fitted inside the tube. So with the help of an iron wire, I inserted the steel wool inside the pipe. Then with a long iron rod, I packed the steel wool in the column. I bought 4 scrubbers but my column could accumulate only 3 of them. Once the column was packed from top to bottom, I wrapped teflon tape at the bottom leaving some space for the drip tip. I wrapped the tape until it didn't become thick enough to form a tight seal with the B24 socket. Having done that, I wrapped some teflon tape at the top of the column so that I can fix my B24 socket for placing my still head in it. As you can see here how I have fixed it. But when I was adjusting it, it broke as it was cracked. So I purchased an enhancing adapter of cone size B19 and socket size B24. And as you can see I have wrapped the column with cotton and used thread to keep the cotton in place. I have done this because for column to reach its maximum efficiency, it should be adiabatic. That is, it should not exchange heat with the surroundings. But I left the upper part uninsulated so that some vapor could condense and start the reflux. For the column to function properly, reflux is necessary. If you can't understand what I am talking, you can refer to Vogel's test book of Practical Organic Chemistry, Fractional Distillation section. When you will study in detail, you will understand better.
Now to fix this enhancing adapter, I wrapped some Teflon tape at the cone of the adapter and fixed it tightly at the top end of the column. For better insulation, I wrapped the column with aluminium foil and inserted a bunch of steel wool in the adapter for condensing some of the vapor to start a reflux. Now for testing, I have 12% alcohol solution prepared in the same way as before, as in how to make alcohol video. I measured out 500 ml of it and poured it in a 500 ml round bottom flask. Then I placed my fractionating column which fitted nicely in the round bottom flask. Then I placed my still head and condenser as shown here. I switched on the heating mantle and now vapor has reached at the top of the column and the temperature has started to rise in the thermometer. My thermometer has an error of minus 2 degrees Celsius. So instead of 78 degrees Celsius, I started getting distillate at 76 degrees Celsius. At this moment, heating mantle was set to 30 so as to not let the temperature rise above 78 degrees Celsius in the still head, which is the boiling point of 95.6% ethanol water azeotrope. The reflux is also happening very well. In the end, when no more distillate came over at 78 degrees Celsius, I stopped the distillation. I measured the density and quantity of distillate. The quantity was 68 ml and density was found to be 0.800 gram per ml at 20 degrees Celsius. Using the concentration density chart, the percentage of ethanol should be 96%, which is not possible as it is not possible to get higher than the azeotropic 95.6% ethanol water mixture by fractional distillation. So it must be 95.6% which means that our DIY column passed the test with full marks. But the only limitation of my DIY column is that it can't be used to distill acidic solutions. As acid would attack steel. The video is not over yet. Now I will show how a Graham's condenser work as a fractionating column. It is similar to the Dufton column. So to try it, I poured the rest solution which was around 400 ml in the RB flask and arranged the apparatus as shown. You can see that I have wrapped aluminium foil in its inlet and outlet to close them and I am placing a bunch of steel wool in the upper part. This Graham's condenser is of 30 cm. You can see vapor condensing in the spirals and refluxing. At 78 degrees Celsius, we started receiving distillate. When at 78 degrees Celsius distillate stopped coming over and 52 ml of distillate was collected from 400 ml solution which is equivalent to 65 ml per 500 ml solution. I checked its density, it was around 0.804 gram per cc at 20 degrees Celsius and from the table it corresponded to 95% weight by weight ethanol which is very close to the azeotropic 95.6% ethanol water mixture. So in this way, a Graham's condenser can also work as a very good fractionating column, even better than a Vigrex. But it's pretty costly but multifunctional. So here is the summary of the efficiency of the fractionating columns I tested. So as you can clearly see, our DIY fractionating column is the topper of this test. The Graham's condenser also gave a very tough competition to my DIY fractionating column. So which one will be your preference and why? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, please write down in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.